Uh, so the vision was just, uh, yeah, kind of just keep it kind of clean, keep it simple, always at first, you know, and then, you well, know, stop. Um... <laughs> now we're going, you know. <laughs> but I always wanted something that had a, a little bit of power too, you know. Um, just, uh, you know, nothing too crazy, not full race or nothing like that. But for the streets, you know, and a, and a weekend little warrior. Um, and then that's what, uh, that's what we came with, you know. everyone welcome back to the world of anatomy today we have garza garza thank you so much for making the time for us right on man thank you thank you for making the drive it was quite a bit of a drive mm -hmm. so tell us man what do you drive here we got a 1999 honda civic hatchback um there it is man the hatch life you know <laughs> 99 so walk us back like first of all what got you to the honda scene uh growing up um my dad is big inspiration you know we've always had kind of cars coming in and out and uh you know he uh he's a honda acura specialist you know so we uh he always kind of brought in hondas you know we'll fix them up we'll sell them you know and but uh yeah he's the one that really got me into hondas and on acuras you know so so then fast forward to this one why a hatch and where did you pick it up uh hatchback's always kind of been uh you know the the eye catcher for me you know i've always loved the 90s culture you know growing up and uh you know this one we picked up uh it was out here you know we uh you know we picked it up and just started going at it you know me and the pops were like let's get down you know so and what was the original vision for it i mean were you just looking for a cruiser um i mean uh so the vision was just uh yeah kind of just keep it kind of clean keep it simple always at first you know and then you well, know stop. Um... <laughs> now we're going you know <laughs> but i always wanted something that had a a little bit of power too you know um just uh you know nothing too crazy not full race or nothing like that but for the streets you know and a, and a weekend little warrior um and then that's what uh that's what we came with you know so now tell us a, a little bit about your latest vision on this hatch is it kind of completely done? We know a project car is never done, yeah. but where do you see yourself kind of going with it? True, true. Yeah, never done. Mm -hmm. um, this one actually just changed. I kind of went more of the uh, track lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, uh, you know, just uh, still playing with it, still looking for things. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy where I'm at right now. You're I'm, happy uh, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at, you know. If I were to stop right now, I'd, you know, I'd be satisfied and complete, you know, and, and, and happy where it's at. But you probably won't. <laughs> that's a sad reality. That's, that's the truth right there, you know. There's always, gotta love the Honda market, you know. There's all kinds of accessories and parts and aftermarket toys you could, you know, mess with. Mm -hmm. And so. And you also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you and your brother picked up an EG. We've just picked up an EG uh, earlier in the year. Um, what are some of the plans for that one? That one is more daily driven, also some power. Um, <laughs> try for that one to keep it mostly stock looking on the outside, you know, besides, you know, your usual little bit of coilovers, wheels, and, uh, you know, make it, make it pretty. <laughs> <front edge. laughs> Big wing, you know, <laughs> let's, let's do it. <laughs> before you know, you need another daily. Exactly, yep. And, uh, and that's how it is, you know, they always, they always come and go, and it's a good time. All right, guys, so let's start with the front end. What okay. are we staring at, man? Okay, the front end, let's see. We got the uh, track light fenders. They're three-piece fenders. They're, uh, they're widened out. Um, the hood, big cutout right there in the center, you know. Can't miss that. <laughs> We're, uh, we get, for the lip, we got the charge speed. Uh, it's a charge speed rep lip, you know. Uh, I, uh, I dig the charge speed lip. And, uh, you know, the uh, headlights uh the front bumper it's original um you know now the car has been resprayed right the car has been resprayed body work done uh the color is a 2000 off a of 2010 honda fit it's a blackberry pearl um just decided to go with that uh the original color is the purpled um 
and we kind of wanted to just change it up just slightly. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, Absolutely thank you. Gorgeous, man. So then, what are the future plans for the front end? Uh, right now, uh, not looking too much. I would like to get, uh, you know, the uh, the Type R headlights. Um, maybe change out the front bumper, but at the same time, uh, not really looking too hard right now. You know, I'm just. Uh, I'm kind of satisfied right now with with uh, with the front end and how it's how it's looking. Okay, cool. Tell us about the suspension pieces. What do we got going on? Uh, so we got a uh, blocks drag coilovers. Uh, I believe it's 12k spring rate and 18k spring rate. Whoa, um, very stiff. So stiff. Uh, we got a camber kit all around blocks. Um, you know, we got your LCAs, the beak spar, subframe. Um, and uh yeah this is a this is a really nice nice drive um on freeways and stuff it's real nice you know it's uh, it's pretty smooth cool. any future plans for the suspension brakes anything like that uh in the future yeah what i'm looking for is to get a big brake kit right now it's we did the five lug version it's uh you know but it's on the the oem uh type r brakes um i would like to go you know, maybe Will Wood or, or Brambo or, you know, Endless. We'll see. It depends, you know, how the deals came up, now. you know. It, but it's working, you know. Okay. And then um, wheel and tire setup. What do you have going on? Uh, so it's a staggered, uh, we have the TE37s, the OG. It's a staggered setup. Um, up front, we have 16 by 8 plus 25 wrapped on a 225, 45, 16 Toyo R88 R tire. Beefy. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's aggressive, you know. And then the, for the rear, it's uh, 16 by 7.5 plus 38 on a 215, the uh, the Falcon Zenith tire. And uh, great tires. Yeah, great just tire uh, choice. you know. And then uh, side skirts? Side skirts, we got the uh, the PCI side skirts. Um, Are they three inch? Or? They're three inch. Uh, we got the PCI wing to go with it, um, and that's a 60 millimeter wing. Uh, let's see what more can we uh, say there. And this all comes together. This is all one kit, or did you have to kind of? This we had. Uh, yeah, actually, in order to put the uh, PCI wing, I had to go to the junkyard. I found the uh, the OEM wing. You know, I had to drill into it. Uh, I got a Type R hatch. We had to drill into that. Oh, oh <laughs> a lot of people are hurting right now. Yeah, They're hating. yeah. <laughs> the uh, the setup I had previous. This is a uh, this is new. But the setup I had previous, I had the uh, the Zeal wing with the mid wing, mm -hmm. and uh, with the mid wing we have you know we had to drill into that. So I wanted to change the whole trunk in order to rock this wing swap easy too I swap think. easy yeah what going on in the interior so interior we got the uh the sir uh full interior with the uh, door panels the front and rear seats wow. um we have a s2000 steering wheel uh si cluster type r shift knob um and uh let's just see uh let's see i guess in the future i definitely would like to uh go with a digital cluster maybe the s2000 i i see nice. you know um and uh so kind of looking at that at the same time um but for me i'm always always kind of looking for people selling stuff i'm not one to uh just go way out and chop kind of money and and throw it in real quick you know unless mm -hmm. it's something that i really you know but for the most thing, yeah. for the most part i kind of you know i kind of just wait around and and you'll see you know if if you're watching and you're looking and if you could be patient things will pop up you know mm -hmm. and uh and uh so that's what we keep you know, hearing gotta by the way love the seats probably one of yeah. my favorite ones Thank you um very, very simple you can, it's still super comfortable i guess i would say yeah. um other than the cluster, any other major change that you see yourself? I mean, you st you're keeping full interior? Yeah, for right now, um, I really like the full interior. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
can we go back to my eg for a second right now i uh <laughs> you know i gutted that one out you know I and uh <laughs> you're already, uh, like, you're already the... going backwards in <laughs> so for the most part a lot of times it's uh you know it's just me and a passenger i don't really ever have people in the back seat um, we got power doors so that's the luxury right power doors yeah <laughs> power conversion Alright, so here we got a J series. Um, we got a 3.5 block with the uh, 3.2 heads. Um, J series, fun, fun, fun swap. <laughs> yeah, I, I can only imagine. <clears throat> First of all, um, what kind of power stock does it come with? Uh, so, stock, it's around 240 um, base horsepower. And uh, and I was, when I was putting it, I was, you know, thinking, all right, I want a car, like I said earlier, with some power with, uh, without having to go too crazy. Right. <laughs> but then again, you know. <laughs> uh, so then, okay, so then Walkers, what kind of radio are you running? What were some of the major challenges with the J-Swap? And um, yeah, internally, the, the, the block, training stock, right? Uh, stock yeah okay. yeah uh, we're working with the uh, skunk 2 alpha rad radiator uh so far so good you know i don't haven't had any uh issues with it it's uh pretty good so skunk 2 um the headers are ebay headers monzo headers um you know they're starting to make uh, some some big tube headers and uh that might be something in the future if i wanted to squeeze a little bit more power out of this okay. uh I believe it's two and a half inch all the way back to into a magnaflow exhaust um we have hasport dual height mounts um j series uh it's pretty nice you could sit the sit the height of the motor you know and right now it's i'm kind of sitting it almost as low as it can go oh it can um, still go a little bit lower it can still go a little bit lower but i would have to uh basically i couldn't lower the car you know it would be at a uh, almost at a stock height and uh you know i wanted to have a gotcha. little bit of a you know clearance and uh you know if i wanted the motor to sit higher i could even drop the car a little bit lower you know but for right now it's uh it's working you know um recently just uh you know did a little bit of spray in here um painted the engine bay we threw in a lot of it's the same color but we threw in a lot of uh blue pearl so it took the color down to uh, almost like uh, we want to say like the magnesium blue mm -hmm. almost kind of look to it. Um, then we went kind of with like a fluorescent yellow green 
with the uh, the valve covers and just little little stuff, you know, just to kind of give it some contrast. Some yeah. So, what are the future plans for the engine? Uh, for right now, um, it's it's super reliable. I haven't really have been having issues with it, um, so I'm gonna probably keep it where it's at. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the issues I did have when I first uh, got it going was uh, the belt here on the crank pulley. Um, I have a J-Series alternator uh, relocation kit, but at first um, the pulley was starting to wobble at real high speeds and the belt would fly off. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, just messing around on the, on the freeway with my boys and the next thing I know the belt's flying off and I'm pulling over and, you know, uh, so we kind of looked into it. Uh, we went and checked out Orthodox Racing. Uh, they make a real lightweight crank pulley and uh, threw that on. And uh, ever solved since that, issue. yeah, solved the issue, no problems. Um, gave it some little bit of, uh, you know, faster push and torque. And it's, it's a fun, it's a fun car. So definitely. if you don't mind sharing numbers, has it been tuned? It's been tuned, okay. uh, it's been dynoed. Um, right now, adding it's at 275 to the Ooh, wheels. To the wheels. To the wheels. Yeah, um, you know, I got a. <laughs> it's uh, it's got about 230 torque, and uh, it just it just goes. You know, you, goes. you put you put your foot on it and it'll go. You know, no lag time. I love it. Right now, it's uh, it's been one of my favorites to uh, to definitely drive. All right, guys. I will thank you so much for making the time, man. I, I really appreciate. It. What a beautiful build. Um, any future plans that you may have forgotten about, and any shoutouts? Uh, future plans. Uh, not right now. I mean, just the uh, like I said, well, the trans, uh, big brake kit, and maybe like a digital cluster is uh, is the stuff I'm kind of you know crossing my fingers, hoping I find recently uh, soon. And then, uh, yeah, and then after that, it should be, you know, right there, you know, for now. And, and, until, you know, a year or two passes by and then I want to change up the <laughs> yeah. whole color and wheels again, you know, <laughs> supercharged that, right? <laughs> yeah, and any yep. shout outs, man? Uh, shout out to my, my pops, you know, he's the one that, uh, you know, he did all the, all the work, you know, from paint and everything put on. Uh, he's a big inspiration in my life and I, I love being out there, you know, working with him, alongside him. He doesn't really have the patience, you know, sometimes he's like, hey, hurry up, you know, and, and I'm, I'm learning, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's, uh, he's a big <laughs> part of this, you know, he's, he's the man, you know. We should, we should then, ask uh, dad about that. He <laughs> might have a different story. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, just uh, real quick, you know, uh, shout out to the, the Hatchie Gang family. You know, they are uh, real close, you know, they just started as friends, you know, grew up as a family and they're always watching after me. And, and I love that, that, that group, man. It's, 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 it's been awesome, you know. So, uh, you know, those are the main two for right now, the inspirations, you know, and, uh, you know, it's just. Well, I appreciate it so much, man. Yeah. Uh, amazing, amazing build. I uh, can't wait for the future plans mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, just keep it on the road, man. It's ready. Just, yeah. just leave it as is, but <laughs> as enthusiasts, you're always changing things up and uh, oh, yeah. hopefully you never know, you invite us back for that EG, man. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check that one out. Thank you so much for your time, man. And uh, keep building. Amazing cool. car, man. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. coming out. No, thank you, man. Yeah. So is Jay swapped the way for you now? Yeah. Uh, I mean, this thing I, is quick, man. I, I would recommend it. But there's a bridge coming. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. You guys ready for this one? <laughs> You're not a car guy unless you do this, right?
love that, dude. I love it. Like that. This is the perfect setup. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't add anything. It was near the freeways. I remember. They honked at you guys. Was it? Oh, that was when we got out of there. This one. <laughs> no, it wasn't this one. Probably the next one. Yeah, I kind of wish like. Personal bed, uh -huh. yeah, just to just to have some fun with it. 